Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Well, welcome back, everybody. Sleep tight weather view takes us out to a live look at Hannibal. Well, guess what? Today we actually had a dry day, at least for the majority of the day here with a little bit of sunshine and some cooler temperatures than we've been used to over the past few days with the severe weather and the high humidity. And we're watching some clouds now move in from the west by, yeah, you guessed it, some more storms trying to take shape out there in northwest Missouri near the Kansas City area. Let's take a look at our almanac here for Quincy. We got up to 80 degrees, our official high in the city of Quincy. That is four degrees below our average. So yeah, kind of nice to have a day below our average there. Our low only dropped to 70 degrees. So we did watch a cold front come through and well, that kind of kept that temperature up for a little bit before it came through. And once it came through, well, it only kept us down into the 70s for the majority of the day. So not bad out there. Allergy sufferers, yeah, you got a little bit of everything here. The mold way up there, weeds and grass not too far behind as well. Let's take a look outside right now. 75 degrees, lots of clearing, a little bit of sunshine out there, a little breeze from the northwest, and a lower dew point than we're used to. So, yeah, not a bad day out there. We take a look across the tri-states here. Everybody enjoying temperatures in the 70s with a mix of clouds and sun. And, well, guess what? Yep, there's some rain. We're still watching some more come in from the west here. We got to zoom out here to really see the big picture. Uh, the clouds are moving in. These are anvils from the storms that are firing back in northwest uh, Missouri here, and they're gradually moving to the southeast. So we might see them clip some of our western and southern counties. They are trying to, well, they are tending to weaken right now, so might get a few sprinkles out for our western and southern counties. More storms, however, might form along this boundary that is Lifting now as a warm front came down as a cold front, now lifting as a warm front. Going to set off some more storms possibly for our northern and eastern counties by the overnight hours, possibly starting to go up by 11 o'clock tonight to midnight. So we're going to watch those. They shouldn't be particularly strong, but you might hear a rumble of thunder in the morning. They're going to redevelop, however, I think again as this warm front lifts north, the humidity is going to increase, the warm temperature is going to increase. It's going to be hot and humid out there, lots of instability. And yeah, I think there's a good chance that we might see some severe weather for our area, especially for our northern and eastern counties. And it could be a bit of a flood threat too. As you can see on there, storms might train over the same areas for a while tomorrow afternoon. By Thursday, we're going to do it all over again, have storms fire up possibly to our southeast. I could see storms firing up for everybody again across the entire tri-state region by Thursday afternoon as we'll be stuck with that high humidity and heat. By after that, however, a cold front will come through and should give us some relief by this weekend. All right, Storm Prediction Center does have an enhanced risk of severe weather for much of our area by tomorrow. And yeah, it's not going to help that flood the flood warnings again for the Illinois River and the Mississippi River. Low temperatures tonight will get a little cooler than we did the last few nights. Get up into the, or get down I should say, into the upper 60s. And those high temperatures tomorrow, you can really see where that boundary is. Temperatures in the northeast will reach the mid 80s and temperatures to the south up towards 90 degrees with a lot of humidity. The seven day forecast at tomorrow, best chance for storms, stronger to severe storms will be up to the north and to the east. So folks up there are going to keep an eye out. You're going to want to keep an eye out and stay tuned to KHQA for the details. And then everyone gets in on the action, I think, by Thursday. And then look at that this weekend. Temperatures only by 80 with lots of sunshine. All right. I hope everyone gets a chance to dry out. Mm -hmm. Real nice.